Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you again to, to our panel of witnesses for sharing their experience with us here today. I look forward to hearing your recommendations on where the federal government should focus investments to promote the development and deployment of effective artificial intelligence systems. The purpose of this hearing is to explore an important question. What tools and resources still need to be developed in order to create guardrails on AI? I, uh, I also hope we can use this hearing as an opportunity to learn where gaps exist and where further investment is needed to achieve this goal. Federal science agencies, academia, and industry are carrying out critical research to develop and test methods for the responsible methods and tools for managing risk from AI. In fact, my home state of Georgia is leading the way. Earlier this month, Georgia State University received a $10 million grant from the Department of Defense to establish the Center of Excellence in Advanced Computing and Software. The Center of Excellence will help researchers address critical problems in AI and robotics. In addition, three Georgia institutions have received investments totaling $60 million to lead three National Science Foundation AI research institutes. And they will play a critical role in facilitating public-private partnerships to advance research and translate into practical applications. As AI systems continue to be developed at scale, we must continue to address existing knowledge gaps and build off the progress we have thus made so far. This will be critical for the U.S. to lead in AI and to enable American innovation, enhance economic and national security, and maintain our global competitive edge. I'm proud that this committee and this chamber have led the way in holding public hearings to discuss these critical issues. As Congress grapples with how to regulate AI, it is critical that it is done in an open and transparent manner, unlike our colleagues in the Senate. I once again want to thank our witnesses for their participation here today, and uh, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. 